Learning about the square root of numbers, integrals, velocities, vectors, and scalars, radii, and diameter, and every kind of number you got in the world. Hey, this is Kay Rhodes. I'm an artist in my mid-30s, and I'm just now learning math. And I want to catalog my learnings with this video series. Okay, well you need to know that I'm an artist and I'm working on a project with my friend Carrie Hot where we're trying to make a human level machine consciousness, artificial intelligence, and in our process of working on that, I realized that I don't have the math skills to then learn the advanced math skills to learn the computer skills. I'm trying to build up my skills to be able to learn the information in a book called Mathematics for Machine Learning because I want to be able to eventually make machine learning algorithms for an artificial intelligence that I'm making with my other artist friend, Carrie Hott. I do think at this point I may be covered in ticks. Okay, how am I trying to learn? Well, my math is at about a ninth grade level. I was not good at math in school, and I did a lot of smoking weed and not going to class, and I failed algebra two twice, So, and I haven't really taken much math since then. I did take statistics as a senior in high school and was mercifully passed through to graduate after just barely getting a D on the final exam. I think a lot of people have a lot of stigma around learning math because they were shamed. There's a lot of emotional baggage wrapped up in math, especially I think for women and minorities. And I have to say, um, I was never felt like I was really uplifted by any of my math teachers, but I didn't think that um, it was any different than any other subject. So I think I at least have kind of a, a basic square one emotional equilibrium. <laughs> this week I learned about simplifying square roots and that was a huge revelation of how to get perfect squares out of a square root. Okay, someone's coming with their dog. Okay, I also learned that if you add the digits of like a multi-digit number and then the sum of those digits is divisible by three, then that number is divisible by three. For example, um, 117. So you do seven plus one plus one is nine, which is divisible by three. So 117 is divisible by three. That blew my mind. Um, the other thing I'm working on now is um, the other thing that I'm working on now is, what else did I learn? What a scalar is and what a vector is. A vector gives you the magnitude and the direction, so like three feet northwest, whereas a scalar just gives you the magnitude, like three feet or three feet per minute. Okay, so I've learned a lot. I am very scared of getting embarrassed if someone walks by hearing me talk about math in this little woods. If you subtract by a negative number, you're actually adding. Okay, and so a negative and a negative is a positive, and that's a positive message. So that's where I'm at this week. And I'm hoping that I learn a lot and don't get a terrible sunburn today. And I hope that this video is something I actually can use. Okay, goodbye.